Hello, today we're going to discuss dynamic templating with Shoop. What is dynamic templating? It's the ability to put custom content in on demand when you need it. So to explain this, we're going to jump straight into the Sandbox 3 and just do a quick click through demo of how this works. Currently, we're logged in as a staff user or the user part of the staff permissions group. Uh, here is staff one. Additionally, you should see this toolbar above you, uh, above all of the content if you're logged in as a staff or super user. So first, we're gonna click into edit page. And now all the content is editable and masked in blue. If it's not masked in blue, it means it's not editable and it's been hard coded into the template uh, for the page. So the first thing we'll do is just show you how you can edit these banners in the front. So at first you see this image. And the image is the first element in the, in the page. So we wanna update the banner. Let's say we have a new promotion and we wanna advertise it. So we'll take off the original banner by hitting the garbage button and then we'll select image. We can go into banners and we can select our new banner. Uh, from here, uh, we just wanna make sure that we're saving the plugin every time and publishing the changes. And now you can see the new banner there if we exit the edit, and this will be visible for all new customers who come to your page. Next, uh, let's talk about uh, how we can uh, customize this product field here. Let's say that we not only wanna show new products, but we also wanna show best-selling products. We can go to edit page, we can click down to products, and we can create a new row. And in this new row, we are going to go to our plugin dropdown, and we are going to look for product highlights. And here we have three options available to us. We have random, best-selling, and newest. So for right now, we'll click to best-selling, and we'll say our best-selling products, and hit save. And it's at the bottom right now. We want to put it right in line with it. So it's right next to our current content. And now we have it right next to each other, and we can publish the changes. And now we have our best selling products and new products. But let's say we want to go even further and we want to do our recommended products, where you basically select specific products that you want to highlight in your page that have basically no business logic behind it besides you selecting them. Uh, we can click back into it, back into the uh, uh, editor, click add new row, click on the uh, none, and go in and do product selection. And this will basically allow you to go in and choose any product you want. So we can do tests, uh, product one, and we'll call it uh, our recommended products. Uh, save plugin. We want to drag it right up in line with it. Uh, well, missed it. And let's keep going. Yep, product selection. And we'll publish our changes. Okay, great. Our recommended products. Now, it's probably not showing up in here because it's not visible. So you should keep these kind of things in mind when you're uh, using that tool specifically to make sure that it is purchasable these two fields here will automatically check to make sure that the product can be represented in the page. Um, okay, now let's take another case use example where maybe you don't wanna use one of our like pre-designed templates, but you wanna put something in custom. It's totally do doable using a system, but we're going to use the snippets plugin. So we're gonna to go to uh, back to our, uh, our editable field. So we'll stick with this, we'll go in and let's add a new row. We'll click on none, and then we're looking for snippets. Now, snippets allows you to insert custom JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. It's all done in line in the, uh, in the HTML body and head when it's sent to the browser. So we'll go to Bootstrap 3, and we'll just take some custom code here, and we'll go back to our page. Um, okay, you know you're talking to Wes, when he has a million tabs open. Okay, and here we'll just do some, inside this well, we'll do uh, shoop custom, uh, 
content. All right, and we'll save the plugin and we'll publish changes. And now we'll exit the edit and now we can see this uh, bootstrap that we had put in. So Shoop custom content. So I'd really recommend this for any of our customers who basically have small front end features that they wanna change uh, or wanna add to the page. If you are trying to add, edit something and uh, it's not with not blue masked in your in the edit mode. It basically means it's part of a hard coded template in our HTML that we have in the server, and you'll have to ask one of us at Shoop uh, or if your enterprise clients, one of your developers, to go and edit that template dynamically uh, themselves and then up, update the server. Uh, that's really all I have for you today. If you have any questions, you can email us at shoop.com. Uh, you can get more of our contact details just at shoop.com. And I hope this is helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.